Good morning, Altoona, and welcome to our 2022 Veterans Day Commencement. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the fighting of World War I ended in 1918. Due to the conclusion of the war to end all wars, November 11th became a universally recognized day of celebration. The day was originally declared Armistice Day, eight years after the end of World War I, and honored only veterans of that war. Then, in 1954, after World War II and the Korean War, it was renamed Veterans Day to honor all veterans who served America in war and defended democracy. So today, we honor all of our veterans who unselfishly placed their lives on the line for our freedom. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I say your name. I you solemnly swear. To support and defend. Support the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. And to bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. Then I will obey. The orders of. The President of the United States. And the orders of. Those officers, Those officers appointed over me, appointed over me. According, to regulations, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. The Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. We celebrate Veterans Day on the anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I, the armistice that began on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. The timing of this holiday is quite deliberate in terms of historical fact, but somehow it always seems quite fitting to me that this day comes deep in autumn when the colors are muted and the days seem to invite contemplation. It is, in a way, an odd thing to honor those who died in defense of our country, in defense of us, in wars far away. The imagination plays a trick. We see these soldiers in our mind as old and wise, but most of them were boys when they died, and they gave up two lives, the one they were living and the one they would have lived. When they died, they gave up their chance to be husbands and fathers and grandfathers. They gave up their chance to be revered old men. They gave up everything for our country, for us. And all we can do is remember, I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. In memory of those who gave the last full measure of devotion, may our efforts to achieve lasting peace gain strength. Let us make a vow to our dead. Let us show them by our actions that we understand what they died for. Strengthened by their courage, heartened by their value, and borne by their memory, let us continue to stand for the ideals for which they lived and died.
in the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. We shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Those men and women were ordinary people until they heard the call of duty and answered it. They left their families, their homes, and their lives, not for recognition or fame or even the honor we bestow upon them today. They fought to protect our country, to maintain our way of life. As we honor our veterans and remember their great deeds, let us also salute those who are currently fighting for our freedom. Now, please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now, please pause with me for a moment of silence to honor all of our veterans for the sacrifices they've made in defense of our country. Thank you. If you are a teacher or a staff member who have served in the military, we want to ask each veteran at Alatoona to stand right now so you can be recognized. <laughs> now, if you have a family member that is a veteran, please stand for them and be recognized. Thank you to each and every veteran here at Alatuna and to all the family members who serve our nation. Let us never forget to honor our veterans.
So, now is the time to not only honor those who have fought or are fighting for our freedom, it is also time for each of us to take part in protecting it. The defense of freedom is not just for those in the military. Each of us shares that duty and that responsibility. It is the duty of every American to actively defend our way of life. We can begin to protect our freedom simply by maintaining it here in America. If we want to preserve our freedoms, we must put them into action. For example, by voting in elections or speaking out against injustices. We must also ensure that everyone feels the benefits of freedom. And we can do that by volunteering in our communities or teaching our children what it really means to be an American. Veterans Day isn't just a day for veterans. It's a day for all Americans. It's a day to remember why they were fighting. And a day for all of us to begin our journey of protecting our freedom and the freedom of many future generations. Thank you for honoring our veterans today. Let us walk towards tomorrow still honoring them by living in the freedom they protected.